Okay, so this will probably be the biggest video in history of TechWiser and before we start, thank you. It's cliche, but we are here because of you guys. So we were invited to Samsung South Korea and we saw five crazy tech which you won't find anywhere in the world and I've seen it for the first time in my life. And the last one is a secret, but since we are a family, I'll share it with you. Just don't tell anyone. Don't. Now we are here at South Korea to visit the Samsung headquarters. And here's a very interesting thing that we took at the airport. So, of course, international SIM and data doesn't work over here. So we took this portable Wi-Fi and you can connect to unlimited devices through this Wi-Fi. Plus you get unlimited internet. So let's check how is the data speed. And it goes around 11 Mbps and it comes back to 2 Mbps. Like, I think definitely India has better 4G speeds. So we were invited inside the Samsung Innovation Museum and it was really grand. Okay, so number five was the first mobile phone. It was actually like a two-way radio walkie-talkie. Like we use 5G now. This was even before 1G and it used radio waves. It was manufactured by Motorola, then called Galvin Manufacturing Company. It was like a backpack and used in the World War II. It was called walkie-talkie because you could walk and talk with it. Duh. This was the pre-mobile phone era never seen before. It's about the size of my arm. Now, most of the places we couldn't carry a camera, so about 80-90% of this video start to end is shot on S23 Ultra only. And here's a fun thing, just take a wild guess and comment with timestamp the best footage in the video and guess if it's camera or S23 Ultra. We'll give heart to you for the right comment. So in 1925, this was the first black and white TV. Now this black and white TV was commercially available to buy. It was invented by John Loggy Baird and it's called the Baird TV. What TV? Baird. Baird TV? Baird. B A I R D. Bad. And let me run you through around all the evolution of TVs. Hold on. And we usually complain nowadays that smartphones have gotten expensive. Like 1 lakh is the bare minimum flagship cost. But there was a commercially available Nokia phone, Nokia Mobira Talkman. It costed more than 4.1 lakhs. And you know what was the special feature? You could talk and listen to the person at the same time. Truly wireless. And it weighed 5 and a half kg. You have to be a bodybuilder to carry it around. I mean, not me. Not me. So we just came back from the Samsung Digital City. And this city has a lot of cherry blossom trees. And I have seen cherry blossom for the first time. And they look actually beautiful. Now we are out here to chill at night and... I didn't knew Gangnam was a place. Like, look at the buildings over here, man. They look so beautiful. Anyone? Gangnam style? Remember? Now, we visited the secret Corning Glass company. Here, our mobile phones were taken, but we got to see how Corning glasses are made. The entire scratch test. Then, it was the most fun part. We got to drop Corning Gorilla Glass on an asphalt surface. Asphalt is the material used to make roads. And this was fascinating. Like, sorry, we don't have much to show on camera due to secret stuff. But to see Corning Gorilla Glass being made in person with robots was interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Corning Gorilla Glass doesn't have any gorillas making it? <laughs> now, number one, talking about secret stuff, there is a secret Samsung app coming up. I won't be able to reveal much, but have a look at this photo which is taken before and this is the image after processing it through the AI app. Now this photo was taken at 30x and the S23 Ultra with the AI processing can pull up such a good image and even in the moon shots, it makes them even better and sharper. So here's a thought. A lot of times we take photos on occasions and they come out blur or not well exposed. And now the moment has passed, so you cannot take that photo again. So now imagine AI is able to redraw that entire image for you because it has a lot of photos of your face and even the scenery. How would that feel? Now we are not sure when these features will be released, but it was nice to speak to the Samsung engineers, try out these features before anyone else gets to see that. So yeah, that was the end of the trip. We had a really good time and it's really good to see what you read and see videos about in person. I really liked the deep dive in the camera, which they showed us some exclusive app on Samsung. That was a fun part. And on that note, this is Pradeek signing off. See you soon and pew, pew. Sir. Ni hao, pew, pew, pew.